Welcome back. I'm Sarah Deshaw, blogger and online educator for entrepreneurs over at saradeshaw.com. In this video, I'm going to share how to put your Instagram feed right into your Squarespace pages so you can help drive followers to Instagram and offer this additional way for interested eyes to connect with your brand. Sharing your Instagram account on your Squarespace website will help increase your engagement and can help snag some followers who love hanging out on Instagram. And if you offer unique content on Instagram, that's different from what you post on your website, it'll increase curiosity, which will increase traffic and create a deeper connection with your audience, which is so important to do and will set you apart from your competition. I'm going to hop on my computer right here, record the screen and show you exactly how to do this. So let's dig in. Adding your Instagram feed to Squarespace is actually really easy. First, you need to make sure that your Instagram is connected to Squarespace. So these are the steps for that. So first on your desktop computer, log out of all your Instagram accounts. So I'm going to do that here. Okay. Logged out. Good. This is to prevent connecting your Squarespace to your personal account instead of your brand account. If that would be an issue for you, if you just have one account, you could stay logged in. Then you're going to go over to your Squarespace website. And then in the home menu, so I'm going to go there, click home, then click on the settings option, then click on connected accounts. Next, click on connect account and select Instagram. Then go ahead and log in. And finally, if you want your feed to be updated automatically on Squarespace, make sure to check the download data button right here. Then click save. From here, you have a couple different options for how you link your Instagram account. You may just want to do something simple and add an Instagram icon that people can click on to get to your feed. To do this, you'll just need to go back to the settings menu and click social links, then add your profile link. And then make sure the show social icon is checked here and then click save. Once you've done that, you can place the Instagram icon on your homepage, your sidebar, or at the bottom of all your pages. So here's how you'd add it into your blog sidebar. You'd click edit, go down here. I have a social links box in here already. If I wanted to add a new one, I could click that little button there, scroll down to social blocks, click on social links, and then you can see all of the social links are available there so then click apply. So that added an additional social links. And then if I want to edit it, Instagram right now is hidden. Click on it and click show social icon, click save and apply. I'm going to go ahead and delete that though, since I already have my social links there, but I wanted to show you how to do it. Make sure to save it when you're done. The other way to include Instagram on Squarespace is actually to display a part of your feed. This is a favorite option for me because I think it really increases curiosity and makes people want to click through to check out your feed. So let's go to pages so I can show you how to do that. To add your feed to a page, just click on which page you want to add it to. So I'm going to click on the about page right here. I'm going to click edit on the page content. And then all you're going to do is click an insert point. So this is what they look like here. These are insert points. So I'm going to put it between these two lines here. So click on an insert point to add the feed wherever you'd like. Most people like to choose to add it near the bottom of their page so it doesn't crowd the rest of the content. But for this one, it's going somewhere in the middle. So now that I click the insert point, the next thing I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom of these options and click on Instagram under the social blocks. So I'm going to click on that. Next, just make sure you choose whatever account you want to in the drop down menu here. So I just have the one. So I'm going to choose that one. Next, pick how many items you want to have displayed. So right here, that looks weird. <laughs> I'm going to bring it down to four. Okay, perfect. So since I selected four, only four of the most recent photos are going to show up. Next, click on the design tab right here. This will allow you to choose how your items are displayed, such as whether you want them shown in a slideshow format, a carousel format, a grid, or stacked on top of each other. I tend to like to do a grid, but here are what some of the other options look like. So this is a slideshow. So that makes it really big. So I'd have to go in and make it smaller and then carousel. 
and then stacked. So that makes it really large again. So stacked would make more sense if it was to the left of something or to the right instead of right in the middle. So that's why I like to do grid. I think it fits in there really nicely. So there it is. And again, here you can choose if you want more or less images per row. And so since I did four images displayed, I'm also going to do four images per row. And then here you can adjust the padding around the images. So if you want less or more space between your photos, this is where you adjust that. Once you have it the way you like it, just click apply. Great. After you've placed your Instagram block, you might want to include an invitation for people to check it out. This might be something like telling them what exclusive thing they'll only find on your Instagram or including a couple of your unique brand hashtags. You could also include a button below the feed that your followers can click to take them directly to Instagram. Clicking on the feed pictures themselves will also take them to your account, but it might not be quite as obvious as a button inviting them to check it out would be. To do this, simply click an insert point, select button, retitle the button text, and then drop your Instagram link right below that in the click through URL. And then click apply. So you could keep those or you could delete them. It's just an option to get a little more attention on your feed if you'd like. And when you're all done, click the save button. And that's it. <laughs> Once you connect your Instagram account, it's as easy as using the insert point to add a new Instagram block and choosing your design. If you'd like more free resources from me, when you sign up for my newsletter at sardashaw.com slash free dash resources, and I'll place that direct link below this video, I give you access to all my free PDFs and resources for entrepreneurs, such as a guide on how to pick your Instagram colors, an indoor lighting guide for Instagrammers, as well as a brand photo shoot planner, and even more than that. So if you'd like access to those resources, be sure to join my email newsletter. If this video was helpful to you, I would love for you to leave me a comment to let me know below. I make videos based on the things you guys ask me to show you. So if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to leave that below as well. And if you want to be notified when my next video goes live, be sure to hit the notification bell until then check out one of these two videos over here that I've already created. And if you want to keep up with my channel, tap this button and then tap the subscribe button to subscribe. I create videos about on-brand content creation, mindset, marketing, and more. So I hope you have a really great week and hope to see you again very, very soon. All right. Bye.